This luggage is horrendously heavy. Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Laleka and I'm here with my new carry-on from away. This is the first time that I've ever bought something where influencers have influenced my decision. If you've been following my channel then you'll know that I had an it luggage because it's the lightest and I had some problems with it so I'll link that video in the description box below. So I was looking out for something. My big suitcase is the Samsonite which I've had for years upon years and I love it and I was very tempted to get a Samsonite because it's just an easy fix. There are stores all over the world and you can just rock in there, which I have done before with my larger one. It is not great to have to buy another piece. This one has a lifetime warranty, which I'm wrapped about now. Coming from New Zealand, we cannot buy it. The closest is free shipping to Australia and that was my plan, was to mail it to a friend's house in Australia and then go and pick it up. But I'm so wrapped that I'm here in the States and had the opportunity to go into a real store because this is the clamshell so lots of people have this luggage. It is definitely made for the American market because they do not seem to have weight restrictions on their carry-on. It's just does the bag close <laughs> and that's fantastic. However, coming from the southern hemisphere and primarily flying, well, one world, there are weight restrictions. This is a very heavy bag. Obviously there is the smaller one, this is the bigger carry-on. I actually wanted, because I pack so heavy and large, I did actually want the bigger one, just for the bigger size. I do not have a battery pack, I, this is just not something that I own. This is very heavy, so if I was taking a trip where I was really worried they were going to weigh it, I would definitely leave this at home. Also apparently the charge on this is not fantastic compared to other uh, 10,000 mAh rechargeable batteries. It does come with a little bit of charge because it's got one light, but I, I, I just haven't used it yet. And so it just pops in and out. So for anybody that's worried about that, don't bother. As you can see, I'm struggling to get this little lid open. This is a brand new suitcase. Should any security in any country need you to take out those things, it's that easy. Thing in Asia to remove it. All right. Yeah, apparently the wheels are fantastic along airport surfaces. That's great, but we don't always walk along airport surfaces, so I will be quite intrigued with wear and tear as we go along to see what happens with it. For those of you that do travel on budget airlines a lot, this is possibly a really terrible piece of luggage because it's so heavy. I'm just going to weigh it because it sucks up so much of your allowance. If you saw when I traveled domestically in New Zealand, there was a seven kg weight limit and I was terrified that they were going to weigh my bag. I'm quite happy to have a hard case because there will be times where I will check this. It has got a little bit of give. This was 245 plus the tax. They emailed me the receipt. Heaps of reviews on this. I definitely did look at a lot of other YouTubers. It's so hard because I guess when the company came out or when they were trying to pump up their business, they gifted a lot of these to other influencers. So that's great, they got free luggage, but none of them seem to mention how bloody heavy it is. In terms of durability, and yeah, because it's got their lifetime already, great. And it will fit your weekend away. Alright, so the empty suitcase empty this is four kgs this is more than four kilograms and also you know if you have injuries or you know you can't lift that much to be able to get it into the overhead compartment is definitely something to think about and i am really quite worried now that i've weighed it i knew it was heavy but knowing that i do have to overstuff this the first time that i'm going to use it I'm quite worried about how I am going to get it into the overhead locker. It also comes with the instructions of how to change the code. I got them to set the code before I left the store. Take a quick look inside. And then it's just the clamshell opening. And then it's just got a little zip mesh thing. Other videos that I watched said that you should put 
like shoes and toiletries and I'm concerned about how quickly I can get out the laptop and sometimes when you're asked to take out your toiletries going through security because this is not easy to juggle. I realize I'm sitting on the floor but even if I'm standing at a conveyor belt so I would make sure to put the zips at this top end and I might even be inclined to keep it open so now I've just like kept it open so that then the toiletries bag could just slip in and out and obviously the laptop goes in between the two sections. This bottom section has the compression bit. I use packing cubes anyway so my next video out should be how I'm packing my carry-on using this. It comes with a little zip thing I suppose you can put you know A4 paper in this uh, in this see-through sleeve. So it comes with a, oh, I guess this is one of these magic erasers. It's like scuffs happen to clean your suitcase, dampen this eraser. So to clean it, great. Something else I've got to carry with me. That's annoying. Luggage tag, if you need one, I don't. But okay, that's fine. It also comes with a cord to charge the battery pack. I have seen in other videos, and maybe they've just taken it out, or they haven't included in this one, is the is they used to have a pack with the different plugs for different countries. This one does not have one. It has its own little zip, its own little zip pocket for this laundry bag. I mean, we live in an age where we have like canvas like bags coming out of our ears, recyclable bags. So I don't really think this is necessary. It is just under 40 litres. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences. I just think there's some things to bear in mind that I feel like there was just a gap in the in the videos about the away luggage. Some people will think that this is an expensive piece of luggage. I'm expecting this if it has a lifetime warranty that this will be with me for many years. Not somebody that's you know travels for for work. I travel to move to work but then I'm pretty stationary so I think it would be great if you were somebody that did travel a bunch because you know the cost per use really comes down then. There are a lot more expensive carry-ons on the market, the Chumis, the Ramoas, the Samsonite, and they also have the aluminium one which I did look at but of course that's heavier too. I actually looked at the aluminium one in the large size because maybe one day I'll have to say goodbye to my Samsonite and I thought oh well if this does me well then I would be interested in the aluminium one but I think it's not as big I think their large size is not very large. There is a link in the description box below for a small discount and there are lots of countries where you can get the free postage as I said Australia. <coughs> the ladies in the store they were super helpful. Can't wait to use it. So I'm wrapped that I've bought it. Something to think about. Alright so this is how it comes out of the store or at least this is how I carried it out of the shop. So glad to get in purple. Purple is my favourite colour.